Hi friends, we're gonna do a friend project today that is all about chameleons. We're gonna create a colorful chameleon. Uh, for this project, you will need a pencil, an eraser, a marker, or a pen to outline, and watercolors if you get permission. So definitely ask for permission before you break out any paint. If not, you can always use colored pencils, crayons, or markers. All right, friends, so the first thing we're gonna do is start by drawing the chameleon's head. So we're gonna start kind of in the middle of our paper, more off to the side, really. We're gonna start by creating a curve. Kind of comes down. Now we're gonna bring that curve down here and make a smile. I'm gonna cap it off there. And then we're gonna come down here at this bottom part and draw the lip. And then we're gonna come back in with a curve. So then we're gonna move back onto the body. We're gonna start by right about here, close to the top of the head, but not quite at the top. And we're gonna just curve out and bring it down. Then we're gonna come in here at the bottom and draw our next line. That also goes down. So this will go down for our chameleon's tail. So for our tail, we're actually gonna come out. We're gonna create a spiral. We're gonna take this line and just follow that spiral to where our tail meets. Now the legs and the arms are gonna be the challenging part, at least for me, just because I struggle with those parts the most. I'm gonna start by creating a curve that comes out. I'm just gonna draw two grippers for my chameleon. We're gonna come on this side and do sim something similar. But I'm just going to curve. That's for our chameleon's arm and leg. And then I am gonna jump back up here, up for the eyes. And I'm gonna start by creating a spiral just because they have some unique eyes. We're going to create the eye lid. We're going to come over here on this side too. Create that line to give it depth. Now I am going to draw my chameleon on a tree branch and it is helpful to have the legs drawn with the arms just so that gives you an idea of positioning your chameleon. And the chameleon is on a tree, so we're going to have this curve, making it kind of more split. It's okay if you go through it, because when you outline it, you can erase those parts out. And I'm going to draw another line here, just to get the impression that there's another leg. I'm going to do the same thing on this side, just to get that impression. So now, once we've done all this, I am going to outline my chameleon with my black marker. I'm going to outline my chameleon and my tree. Now for parts that you plan to erase, just don't outline those parts. Okay, so now that you've done that, I'm gonna put the lid back on. I'm gonna take my eraser and I'm gonna just go over all my lines just to eliminate those pencil lines. Um, I am using watercolors, however, you don't have to. Definitely ask for permission if you are going to use watercolors. I like working with watercolors just because I like the effects you get with it. 
I am going to be doing my chameleon in warm tones. You can choose your colors. You can mix and match warm and cool tones. However, I am going to try and match it with my background. So I will be creating a sunset here with watercolors just to have that effect where it matches that background. Now, you can have your chameleon matching your tree. It's up to you. So I am gonna start with my yellow. I'm actually gonna start up here in the face. Now I am putting a decent amount on just because I'm going to do kind of like a triple, triple effect where it just kind of goes in and it kind of blends in with the other color. Now this way it can be kind of messy, but I like the effect you get when you do this. I'm trying to avoid getting the white part of the eyes filled with watercolors, but if it gets in there, it's fine. I'm gonna go over it, just run some water through it so it picks up a little better. It's similar to the wash technique. You can see how it already is picking up that color. So now that my chameleon's done, I'm going to start doing my sunset. Now I'm making the center of my sunset my yellow. Now it is gonna kind of go off my page a little bit. That's fine. I'm just gonna pull that color over. So we wanna have background for our chameleon. Something that kind of explains the colors you chose for your chameleon's body. Because chameleons are no to use. Their color changing abilities to camouflage themselves. It's almost how they protect themselves in the wild. It's really cool to think about. It'd be kind of cool if we could change colors, like a chameleon. Like if you wanted to blend in with the rainbow, it'd be fun. I blend in with the rainbow. Maybe a warm tone rainbow. I notice I work a lot with warm tones. I'm partial to them. I love them. So now looking at my tree, it's pretty bare. I'm gonna go in with the green. And this part's kind of fun for green, for leaves at least. I'm just gonna go in and just kind of stamp my brush down. Just kind of being sporadic with it. I'm not making it perfect. Just to give my tree some of those green leaves we know it has. Now, if you do this technique, you can honestly make your chameleon blend in with that. But I'm just going in with my brush and just stamping randomly just to give it those effects. And there we have it. We have our chameleon. I'm very excited to see what you guys do. 